Well, hello everyone, and thank you for watching this video. I'm Jana Fredericks. We are here at Lichtenfeld Nursery this morning, and I would like to show you how to do few combination containers for your fall and winter season. Unfortunately, it's time to pull out your spring and summer stuff and start all over again. We're gonna start with a uh, few seasonal pots. Uh, this one, we're gonna do as a little uh, table centerpiece for your maybe Halloween or Thanksgiving party. I did pick a few plants that will be more for a Halloween looks. Um, this right here is a really cool looking grass called Junkus. And I thought it really did have kind of Halloween-ish um, look. What we did, we cut out the pumpkin and you could, uh, plant directly in it if you want to put soil in it. It's not going to last for very very long to have all of that soil and moisture in it. So we fit it kind of to put this container in it so when you need to water the plants you can just take it out, water it, let it drip and place it back in your uh, pumpkin. You don't want to keep this or do this way ahead of the time because how I said um, the pumpkin is, will probably not last very very long. So I'm gonna fill up my container with my soil mixture, which is just one bag of mushroom compost and one bag of soil conditioner mixed together. And since this is just a table centerpiece, you really wanna pack it up nicely with the plant. So we're gonna put a lot more stuff there than you would regularly do in your container. So we're gonna use this junkus grass, which is really cool, kinda straight and curly foliage that has kind of weird look. I think it's very suited for Halloween. Um, this right here is Rumex or, or Red Vein Dock and it just reminds me like really red veins in maybe eyeballs or... <laughs> We're gonna place that right next to the junkies, kind of close to each other. And then we have this really cool Penny Black Viola, which is, of course, the color for the Halloween. I'm gonna just put probably one in here because the container is really small. This is wonderful trailing pansy. We do have few colors now, a lot more coming today. So if you would like to experience these, they are very nice for containers or for, for the beds because they stay lower and they spread out nicely. So we'll just put this one in here. It's kind of pretty tight, but I'm leaving a little room over here if you want to put a little decoration in that spot for the party. And so we, we will water it. Of course, you will always want to water your containers after you plant them so you will have all of the soil settled around the root system. Don't leave any air pockets. So we'll, gonna, we'll sit it up down here in the pumpkin. This is gonna trail a little bit over and I got cute little decorations like this little cat. If it's evening time party, you can put a little tea light in it, turn it on. And uh, that's all to it. You got a little table decoration. If you wanna change it out more for Thanksgiving, you can use more of an orange, red, and yellow colors for your harvest colors. So as the season progresses, we're gonna do another container for Thanksgiving, that it will be our next holiday. Um, I chose nice fall colors. And this right here for the centerpiece or for the height we're gonna use is Cordeline. We sell them in spring and also in the fall because they are pretty cold hardy. I had one coming back for two years in one of our con containers over here at the nursery. Gives you really nice kind of slim and grassy texture in the container. Um, it it depends if you're gonna be looking at your con container all the way around, or if you're gonna be looking at the container just from one side. That way, that's how you need to position your highest point in it. So I'm gonna center this cordial line over here. Another taller thing that we can use will be snapdragons that are great. Uh, also for fall or spring containers. 
different varieties now. Some of them stay go, go pretty tall, some of them st stay pretty short, different series of snaps. So I'm just gonna kind of put a few of these around the quarter line that they can grow into each other a little bit. Different texture. Of course, the beautiful flowers on the snaps. You will enjoy them really heavy in the fall. They will slow down a little bit through the winter time when it gets cold. But then when it starts warming up before spring again, they will give you beautiful uh, abundance of flowers. As you can see, I'm filling up my containers pretty high. Um, I like it better, especially when you use your spiller so they are not going over a uh, deep edge of the container. And plus, as you water, um, of course, the soil will settle a little bit more. Um, this is a coral bell, which is wonderful perennial. It's uh, more suited for shaded areas, but this time of the year, you can pretty much place it in the sun with no harm until the summer. Um, then you can take them out and maybe put them somewhere where it's gonna be a little bit more shaded. So you can use it or sun or shade in the fall, spring, or winter time. But in the summer, they need to be a little bit protected. I have a couple of spillers in those fall colors. One of them is um, Lysimachia, very pretty. Um, chartreuse color foliage, very pretty stem that goes beautifully with the cordyline or with the heuchera or some of the pansies we're gonna use in there. That will of course spill over so we are, we are putting it right on the edge of the container. And another one you can use, it's uh, this beautiful lemon thyme. It's an evergreen, of course it's herb, you can use it for cooking if you have your container somewhere close by your kitchen. As you can see, I'm always breaking up the root ball as I'm planting. You don't want to plant the plants where they are really, really root bound. You need to help them out to break that root ball before you put them in the soil. That goes, of course, for planting in the ground as well. And so that's our tallest point, our, our uh, cordyline, lower point with the snapdragons, heuchera, our spillers, and then we're gonna just fill it in with these really pretty fall colors, like this red shade pansy. I'm gonna put that one in between the yellow to give it a little bit more contrast. And then we have these little cute orange violas that will contrast really nice with these darker colors. And how I said, don't forget to water your pots right after you, um, right after you plant them to get the soil settled around the root system. And it is very good to fertilize your flowering annuals. Even in the wintertime when it's mild, I would use maybe just a water soluble, like a miracle Grow fertilizer to give them a lot of nutrients to encourage the blooming and growing. And you can leave little spaces in your harvest or Thanksgiving container to maybe place a few uh, little either real or artificial pumpkins and gourds, just kind of fill it in and then after Thanksgiving take it out, let things grow and enjoy it until spring. So our last one in the season for um, this year, we're gonna do a Christmas container. I chose um, in our reds and whites and silver colors for the holidays. Um, we have another one of those cool junkus grasses. This one grows a little bit more upright. So I'm gonna place that one a little bit more towards the back to give it look from only one side from the front. So you can have this against your front door or against the wall. Then we have this really pretty red uh, Swiss chart, which great advantage of that one is that you can um, harvest some of the leaves and 
use them for your salads as it grows and still have really pretty plant in your container. Put them right here. That will give us more of the bulky leaf feel and really pretty bright colors as it gets colder. These uh, winter vegetables like chard and kales and cabbages uh, gain beautiful colors with the cold. And we have little white cabbage. Um, just to give you an idea, when they, as they grow, they will lose the bottom leaves always, so they look kind of stalky. But with these, um, you can plant them deep, so you can plant, plant the cabbage all the way to the bottom of the leaves, cover it with the soil, and it will create a little root system on the side of the stalk. So you don't have to be looking at the, that little trunk when you first plant it, and it will, of, of course, expand. You can put it on the edge of the container, kind of lean it forward, and it will give you that really almost like a spilling feel but that beautiful um, head of the that cabbage or kale with that color in the center of it as it grows. Another really pretty silver white kind of uh, color is this uh, Dusty Miller. I'm gonna just use a couple of them and I'm gonna plant them close to each other just to um, give the feel of almost grown Dusty Miller, it will get bigger and a fuller as it grows. And actually you can keep it in a container through next spring and summer. So it lasts a little bit longer than just a pansies or a violas. So next I'm gonna use this little low growing Snapdragons, beautiful red color. We can use it uh, a little bit more towards the edges of the container. Really pretty texture, different from everything else. More kind of spiky look. I'm gonna put a couple of those in here. And then um, for the spiller, I have this beautiful um, silver thyme that has green leaf with a little wide edge. It goes perfectly with these colors here. And that will also spill over, stays green all the time. It's a perennial, so as you're replacing your stuff in the spring, you can leave this one in. Just take your take your annuals out. And of course the junkus is an evergreen perennial. So we can leave that one as well. And then I have just a white and red pansy. We're gonna fill it in. So you can see I'm filling my containers pretty good from the beginning. I do like to do that so they look really good from the get-go and if it happens that one little thing dies in the middle that the other stuff as it grows it will cover up that gap. If your container is much larger size, you don't have to use just uh, annual or perennial. You can always, always use for a, for a centerpiece your the little evergreen, like this little dwarf Alberta spruce or this beautiful blue spruce we have in the small containers. Uh, of course, you can throw some Christmas lights on it and uh, give it really Christmassy feel for the season. So I was gonna also uh, show you if you have a container that has already existing plants in it that are either evergreens like this beautiful camellia or perennials like this um, variegated acorus, you can leave those in and just fill your spots with some seasonal um, annuals. So I'm gonna cut part of this uh, acorus out because it's way too big as it grew in here for a couple of seasons. So I'm just gonna cut through the root ball. Take nice chunk of it out. 
and fill it up with some fresh soil. Of course, you can use this piece in another container or just take it out and put it in the ground because it's great evergreen grass for shady areas. So we'll take this piece out. Fill this in up with some more good soil and put a little bit more on the top because we did have some uh, spring and summer annuals in this container. We took them out earlier. <clears throat> So I'm going to use some blues and purples with this uh, white variegated grass and with white camellia. This is uh, another coral bell that has beautiful purple uh, color with little sil silver veins. Place them right here. And that's going to be your, another perennial that you could leave in that container for a while. And rest of it is just little... Violas usually deal with shade better. So I would recommend to plant them in the shade areas instead of pansies. Plus you don't have, don't have to deadhead them quite as much as so you have to deadhead pansies through the season to keep them looking really good. So it's a combination of this cute little white and blue pansy with this really pretty, oh, I'm sorry, viola with this really pretty blue, really bright, bright blue viola. And then I have a couple of trailing pansies that will be again spilling over the edge of the container. And this purple will give really nice contrast to this light color on the container as well. these little guys all the way around, water them in, fertilize them, and let them fill up the base of this beautiful camellia that will be blooming from starting October, November, probably until at least Christmas time. So we have these four beautiful large troughs right here at the entrance to the nursery we exchange every spring and fall season. Some of the plants over here are perennials or shrubs um, that you can leave uh, in your troughs or in your containers. These are quite large, you can buy them at Tractor Supply. Um, they're actually for water for animals. We uh, bought them, drilled the holes in them, of course for drainage. We have some gravel on the bottom of them. You can fill it up all the way with the soil like we did or you can just fill up half of it with something lightweight people sometimes use even the water bottles for the bottom of the empty water bottles for the bottom of the large containers and then fill up the top with the soil so in this one we have this really pretty red twig dogwood which uh, stays green through the summer and then it turns this beautiful mahogany color in the fall but what is most interesting about it is when all of the leaves drop and temperatures drop, all of these twigs will turn beautiful red color. So you have gorgeous color through the winter on this, uh, on this shrub. It will probably grow about four feet in the ground. It has uh, not quite as attractive flower like a, fl like a tree dog would. But it's still really pretty flower on it in the spring in the, uh, and uh, then how I said beautiful fall color and the winter interest is gorgeous. This is wonderful evergreen carex called Evergold. Uh, I had this one in this pot for this is its second year. I love the way it kind of spills over. You can use them, use them in, in the containers, you can use them in the ground. It's a very good evergreen grass for a um, little bit more shady areas, but this one has done really, really well over here in the sun as well. I think as um, you water it regularly, it, it can take more sun as well. This right here is another 
great uh, perennial. It's Euphorbia. That stays green all the time. Has really pretty colors on it. There's different varieties with different colors on the foliage. It has very unusual, not very sh very showy uh, flower in the spring, but it's great, great perennial. You can use in the containers or in the ground. And how I said, it stays green all the time. This is the cordelon I mentioned to you earlier that has been in this trough for its second year. So it came back from last winter. Of course, it was a little bit milder, but it held up really well. This over here is Mizuna or um, mustard that is just seasonal, but also it's also edible. It will hold up really well through the winter. And then we have just, of course, some uh, light yellow pansies and a little dwarf um, snapdragons. And this is really good evergreen vine that um, stays green all the time. Really good texture for containers. This one has been here for two years now as well. Same side, um, same stuff on the other side of the container right here. This right here um, has some perennials and annuals again. Um, this is another one of the junkies grass. This one grows taller than the others, about three feet. Stays green, gives you more of that upright look. Great texture. We have some Swiss chard in here with these beautiful pink colors on the stalk. Of course, those are edible. This is peacock kale that will be for your fall and winter season. They hold up really good. One of them colors out white. This one colors out pur purple in the center. This uh, heuchera really surprised me because most of the heucheras we recommend to plant in the shade. This one right here, uh, it's called rose granita. I planted it last fall and kind of for trial, I left it in the trough. This side of the container of the nursery gets really hot afternoon sun and it held up really, really well through the summer. So I would recommend this one planted even in the summer in the, in the full sun. This is Artemisia. Gave us really good spill. I'm going to try to see what it's going to do in the wintertime. It's a perennial that might go dormant. But uh, the way it looks in that container, I really want to give it a try to see how it's going to do in the winter for us. And then, of course, uh, for filling it, we have these pink and white and purple shades and blue also of the pansies in this trough. And then this beautiful tall pink snapdragon. The next one here, um, we planted uh, this new gardenia for a centerpiece, which will be evergreen that you can leave in the container for a long time. It can withstand hot sun. Um, this is more of the upright junkies. I love to use grasses in the containers or even in the landscape. They just give you totally different texture. They just change the look of the landscaping or the combination completely. Another one I have in here is this evergreen gray Santolina. That's another really good evergreen perennial. That has really cute yellow pom-pom flowers in the spring. And then we have a couple of these little purple cabbages that will color out beautifully with the cold. Another great perennial in this container is this Georgia Blue Veronica. I've used it in the containers a lot. I love this plant. It's a great ground cover, but it looks really, really good in the containers. It stays green all the time. The foliage will turn more burgundy as it, it uh, in the cold when the when the weather turns and then in the spring you have really cute blue flowers on it all over the plant it's really really pretty these are the trailing pansies yellow and then we have just mixed um, delta pansies here this mis mixed color it will make this trough really nice and cheerful as uh, things grow and fill in <clears throat> this one right here for the centerpiece, I have this beautiful Forever Goldie Arbovida, which is great for the ground, but I love to use some evergreens in the containers. Of course, if you put this somewhere close to your front of the house, front of the door, again, you can throw some lights on it for the Christmas. This is another one of the junkies grass that I have here for the second year. There's another Mizuna um, or the mustard for uh, the color contrast with the yellows. And then I put some um, 
yellow blotch pansies which really nicely go that center of the pansy goes really nicely with that uh, burgundy leaf mizuna and this is another lysimachia that is a really good trailing perennial this one has been here the second year as well thank you so much for watching this video uh, we can give you a lot more ideas at the nursery for your containers for your landscape we would love for you to come and visit us. We are open Monday through Saturday, 8.30 until 4.